How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining us for another great episode of the Sportsman's Journal. Absolutely. As you can see, Sarah and I are standing next to the most renowned multi-species angler on Green Bay, Lynn Niklash. And we're up in beautiful Door County today chasing what, hon? We are chasing trophy smallmouth bass. It is well known that Door County has big bass up here. Yep. And it's actually Tyler and my first time doing it in the fall up right. here trying to get those trophy smallies. So we're going to leave it up to Lynn. How are we going to do it? We're going to go drift some live bait today, drag some suckers, and hopefully we can get some five pounders to cooperate. That sounds phenomenal. That sounds I, simple, I love smooth. live bait and I love sucker fishing. Exactly. So. And, and believe it or not, it's November 5th. So it's pretty much fall, fall. And Lynn is going to rock it in shorts today because it's supposed to be 60. But I'm, Sarah and I are... I'm so prepared. We got our for, bibs on. We got our striker gear. Here, you know, and like Lynn, fall, Lynn's fall. going out in shorts. So it's kind of one of those rare, beautiful days in fall that we're going to take advantage of. It's supposed of. to be amazing. And so. Door County is a beautiful place. Absolutely. Big fish. You've seen us with Lynn before catching some big walleyes on we're the really bay. We're really excited. Tyler needs to wrap it up so we can I know. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> when, I, when I'm excited, I rumble uh, yeah. or ramble. <laughs> I can't even talk. Everybody, it's going to be an awesome show. Stay with us. We'll be right back after word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Baitmate Fish Attractant. Lynn guaranteed us a smallie right away. Now I want you to check out his wardrobe. It's early November and he's wearing shorts and the rest of us are in our bibs. So he's a man amongst boys. Yeah, I don't care. That's going to be awesome. Day. We're excited. Lots of big bots back going to be coming. Yeah! Oh. Now do we all reel in? No. You just we make sure mine doesn't board. go over the side. Lynn said first spot we're gonna get a fish and here okay. we go. I can't tell you how big you feel. There you just oh, yeah. he's porpoise. Yes, it's he a did. nice one. It's a good smallie. I'm gonna tighten my drag up a little bit. I didn't get a real good look at him, but no, I he's, him, saw his back. There's some weight there. Oh, I think so we fun. have the famous Sturgeon Bay five pounder guy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. First fish. And it's going to be a beauty. It is a nice one. They've been good in here when you get them. Yeah. They've been good. And Mother Nature's cooperating today, too. For Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And with the walleye, with the water Beautiful. cold, um, they just kind of wallow. They still yeah. try to jump like they naturally try to right. jump. Yeah. But it. Yeah, water temps, what, 46? Six, seven? 49. 49-ish. There's only a couple. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Look at the colors on that thing in the water. That is so cool. That water is a be just beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Woohoo! That's pretty tall. Nice you want to do it back here? Or? I'll come back here. All right, I'm going to yep. put them on the floor. Sure. Oh With the sponge my. floor on yeah. here, it's, oh it's easier on the fish than the carpet is. It is, yeah. I oh my goodness. Something. That is a beast. Oh. Well, that's how you start off your trip with wow. Lynn Nicklash. Yeah. Up here on Green Bay. What a fish. Lynn, heck of a start. First fish. Let's get a bunch more, bud. We're going to get a bunch more. Let's oh get that guy goodness. back in here. That fish is... <laughs> Look at that. Holy that's cow. insane. That is insane. Get a pick one, a nice, uh, nice dark one. I'm gonna try to get just because that's what I feel like. I'm gonna grab the sucker on the top is the nostrils, and you're gonna go right in the nostril and right out the other side, just like that. He came up and slammed it, didn't he? He hit it pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you got really excited. Well, I was running with my <laughs> with my bait. That's a hook set. Nice. He's jerking. We got another fish on. Yep. 
Do I need to reel in? No. You fish, they're all net. Okay. Oh, he's pulling. He's up high. You oh, gonna jump? Oh boy. I don't know. So what I did is I on this this when I wasn't getting bit as much I thought is what I did is I changed that looks my like leader. A nice fish. And I put a little longer uh, fluorocarbon leader on. Oh, there he is, way back there. So that yeah, it will uh, sink, because the braided line that I'm using doesn't sink. Yeah. So I think that helped me have better contact with the bottom without having to add a lot of weight. Yeah. Because when you add start adding weight and you get into the rock, then you end up getting snagged right. a lot. I'm over on fair. Yeah, side. you are. And, and the other thing, you might have to get out of there, huh? The other thing, <laughs> these fish aren't really moving high up to eat stuff. They want to be close to the bottom, so that's, you want to be down, you want that line to sink so you're down right. close to the, the bottom. You don't want it to be six, seven, eight, ten feet above the bottom. Okay. He's a nice fish. Guy. He's, He's a nice fish, yeah. yeah. Going all over the place. Yeah, he is. Look at the claimer rod bend. I know, that's beautiful. He is right under the rig the, right now. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, they're big. Is he? There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, yeah. Right in the sun glare. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Nice. So you can see if you want to see in there, it's on the top of the mouth, not yep. in the gullet. So if they don't, uh, and it just comes right out. That's perfect. That's what the octopus hooks yep. work out good with that. Just a now is that down. average there, Lynn? Yeah, it's probably 18, 18 inches, yep. you know, four pounds. Uh, the Pat. bigger they get, though, sometimes you're starting to see some diseases on them. Uh, but just from old age and being in here for a long time, pretty good. Yeah. Well, there's like a fungus that gets on some of them. There's, he's got a little birthmark on his belly yeah, there. Yeah, he does. No one's to catch that, that black one again. Spot but that's stuff. pretty. That's common on in Sturgeon Bay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice fish. One of the crazy things. Is fishing up here in Dora County is the water clarity. It is super clear. We're in 30 foot of water and you can see, it's almost it's like you're in an aquarium. You can see everything that's going on below you in 30, 32 foot of water. And we can see occasionally a couple bass scoot out. And what they're doing is we're, we're moving and the baits are directly behind the boat. So what happens is the bass kind of scurry out to the side, they get spooked by the boat. And then they come back to where they were, they come back to investigate what we were and then our suckers are right in front of their faces. So it's it's weird because you think, hey, we're spooking these fish, but every time we start to see fish on the bottom in 30 foot of water, mind you, we always get hit. So it's really cool. You're almost, you're sight fishing, but you're 50 yards behind the boat. It's really cool. Never done this before. Yeah, he's back, he's back, he's back. He's back. That looks good. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, no. did it come up? Oh no. Guess we weren't patient enough. Wait, 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 did he come back? Oh yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh, this fish wants to suck or something fierce. You got one? Yeah. yeah. I can grab this net quick. Third time's a charm for this guy. Oh my goodness. How's he feel? He feels good. Does he? Yeah. You, you gotta go on the right side, Lynn's line's out. Okay. I'll, I'll try to manhandle him over here. I'm just gonna reel my I can see quick. him. He looks really nice. This fish wanted Lynn, it so bad. Lynn, you want me so to get to there? You got him. I got it. Okay. He came up and whacked it. And you were reeling it in? No, I was talking to Lynn and I had it in my left hand and he came up and whacked it. And then I gave him some line. You can pick any side you want, girl. Okay. And then I, I gave him some line, set the hook, had him on for a second. And he dropped it, reeled in and then came back up and boom. Big fish, looks nice. He feels, he feels good. Looks real nice. Oh wow, Yeah. this is. That looks like some good length. That's that a big guy. fish right there. Hon. This is incredibly fun. <laughs> wow, oh, yeah. and that fish was. Toad. Hungry, he wanted that sucker and he is pulling. Can you oh, pull him to the side goodness. there? Yep, wow. Oh, yeah. So what was your biggest green bay, Smalley? <laughs> oh my. This is a toad, wow. man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the, <gasps> the height from the belly. Oh my the, goodness. To the back. And then look how big the belly is across the bottom. 
Wow. Pull them out of there. I'm gonna. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a big one, hon. I didn't want to get the hook <laughs> in my finger. Wow. Get them up there in the sun. I might need the pliers. You did say you saw a big one swimming around I there. I think you might have just caught that one. This fish <laughs> Sight is... fishing in 25 here, feet of water. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's. In November. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish. And this fish wanted that sucker. Yeah. Third that's time a was a charm on Look that Look at the belly. Boy. Wow. Nice. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Badger Sportsman Magazine, number one in the Midwest since sucker on there, as Lynn mentioned before, we're going through the nostrils on the, when we're rigging that. But the one thing I added that actually Lynn and Sarah aren't using, I put a little bead on there. Happened to use a pink, but I like that bead for it because we're using fluorocarbon. That bead protects my knot down there, protects it against the quagula muscles because they're really sharp. And that fluorocarbon does a pretty good job for being abrasion resistant, but every now and then you'll get a couple nicks. But what that bead does is really protect your knot there in front of your hook. So I like to have that on there, but it's really simple. That's the number four split shot, octopus hook. Got a little bit of leader. I got, I'm using braid. The rest of the guys are using mono. So I got a little braid on there. I got a little swivel to keep line twist down. And that's it, hook and sinker. Look it, look it, look it. You got one here? There we go. Show us how it's done, hon. We're talking, oh yeah, that's oh yeah. There you go. You got him. Ha <laughs> ha. You can stay out, Lynn. I'll get the net. How's he feel? He feels good. Now he just needs to stay on until we get him to, in the net. Now you're going. What side you're, do you want? Do yeah, you, want what, you gotta pick a side. He's there. over on the. He's headed to the left. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way. Okay. Oh, he's fighting. Nice. Woohoo! Lots of throbbing going on. So how'd that one hit? Hard or just kind of a little no, bit of weight? No, he just showed up. Yeah. What do you see out there? Oh, there he is. Ooh, look at the length on that thing. No kidding. He feels what? good. What it looks that? good. Is that a big old bass? Look at the head shake. Yeah. Well, Everything nice is magnified oh in the water, but then it looks like a big Ooh. toe. And holy yeah. crap. Oh, goodness. oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that feels good. Look at good that. Good job, girl. Yeah. Perfect hook set, too, right in the corner of the mouth. Going to go back nice and healthy. Look, that fish is long. Wow. Oh, my goodness. You got he him? Is, yes. He's feisty. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect hook set. There you go. Look at that. And he is cold. He is not cooperating for the camera. <laughs> he's not happy to be <laughs> No, he's like topside here. Put me back. Put me back, lady. <laughs> nice fish. You got the you got bail, one going? Bail open. That is a nice smolly, hon. Close you. the bail. Dandy. Oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna have doubles right here. here. Let me get this right yeah, Alright, go ahead. Yep. Nice, that's there a you fish. Go. Oh man. Yeah, that's a fish. I feel like the odd man out right now. You know what I'm should saying? Should I throw mine back or should I wait? <laughs> um you, you could put her back. Well, Put them in the live well. Yeah. I can dip well. him. Here. I got it. I'm going to dump this one in the live well, and we're going to get a double picture after Lynn gets this in, but... I got the net. You got the net? That's a nice smallie hunt. We're going to release him, of course, but we're going to get a good shot. Utter cool, cool picture. I'm going to get out of the way here. How's he feel, Lynn? Or she feel? They all feel like wrist busters. Right. <laughs> so, no, I think it's probably not as big as... Uh, some of the bigger ones that we were catching are like Sarah's, maybe about the same size as Sarah's. Yeah. A little smaller than hers. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I see Maybe it's shake. a lot smaller than hers. It's, it's a lot smaller? Only like a three pounder, yeah. Oh, wow. Just hey, a baby. that's okay. Pretty bad when you, you catch 
a, a, a fish like this and you're like, oh man, it's a small yeah. one. Well, Lynn, you know they're <laughs> smallmouth bass. Smelling. They fight. Awesome. That's all they know how to do is fight. Oh my That's goodness. not a bad one. No. He's pretty. No, he's good. Yeah, he's nice, good. Nice work. You get spoiled though, you know? That's right. Three pounder, but Here. man. Oh, see? That's that fungus that I was talking about. Oh, so they man. get some fungus on them. Some of them, when they get cold water, they get some spots like that. Right. Um, you know, I, I've never eating a bass so i don't know if no. that affects the meat like if you were to find it on a different fish like that right um but yeah and you tend to find it on the bigger ones like that like sarah's here yeah like on the bigger <laughs> ones hold those two things Man, up there. look at, look at <laughs> <Nice>. the difference <laughs> that is so much fun doubles guys i'm happy yeah. for you. good That's job really nice. girl lynn and sarah just caught just had that double on those two beautiful smallies and what Lynn is doing is he's keeping us right about, what, 0.5 miles per hour. So half mile per hour seems to be the perfect speed. And it's keeping those suckers from twisting around. If you go too fast, they start spinning. It's keeping them nice and, and level with the bottom so they look natural as we're moving along. But the key thing is, is you gotta stay moving. You notice we haven't turned the boat off when we catch a fish because when you hit a pod, or when you catch one, you usually hit a pod. There's not just kind of one fish here, one fish here, one fish here, they're kind of together, but you have to cover water to find a pod. So that's why we're kind of almost trolling Lindy Rig. You got your Lindy Rig on split shot hook, we're traveling half mile an hour, and what he's doing is he's keeping us right on the transition between the rocks and the sand, and that seems to be where most of these are hiding. I got a bite there. I open my bale, let it have some line. I'm gonna close my bale and let it load up again. And when it loads up the second time, it's it game time. Yep, yeah, there it's going. There nice. Nicely nice. done. Nice. Good tutorial. You can see the see the thump of the rod and hopefully it'll come up and jump. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the net. There get double. Okay, I'm trying. You really if you catch a lot of these throughout the day, man, it can really make your, your wrist sore. <laughs> well yeah. And I've only caught a couple, but when they're big doing ones. It so many days in a row. It wears on you. That's a good egg. You see him down there? How do you feel? I do not see him. No, He's I haven't down, seen huh? him yet either. No, no. He was pulling pretty good and then he started swimming towards the boat. I mean you can see the good bend in the rod, yep. so it's got some weight to it, but you know. I haven't got a glimpse of it. No, you want me to net him for you, bud? Yeah. I'm not gonna do oh, that. I see him back there. He's, he's looks, a good one. Looks decent. That water's so clear, you gotta be pretty natural. And all we're doing is simple split shot and an octopus hook. Got him. Oh, man. Look how pretty that fish is. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, that's wow. A good guy. Oh, my goodness. Nice. That thing is. That is a good fish, that's buddy. Over 20 inches. What are you thinking? Sure. Uh, he's pushing. Pro, he's easy he's, five. Yeah, that's bigger than that. No players. I got a player. Hook yeah. right here in the top of the mouth, right where it's supposed to be. Yep, that was textbook. It seems like you might have done that once or twice. I don't know. Twice, I've done it twice. Twice, yeah. There you go, buddy. Hold that thing up there. Let's look at him. I just love the markings on him. Man, look at that. Beautiful fish. That's awesome. Sun hitting it. Yeah, that's pretty good. And my favorite place to fish up in Door County. That's right. I'm going to catch one here. Please do. Going south. Wow. We get a fish. Yeah. We know more and got that. And I mean, that's that's the way it's been. It's all about going. This is a nice fish. right? One here. It important feels good. thing to remember there was patience. You had to let patience. You see what I did there? I let him take it a little bit more than normal. That's right. Sarah's got to point that out. We had a little dry spell. Forgot our patience left. It hasn't been for the lack of fish. It's been for the lack of setting the hook on Yeah, him. that's what I mean. We were not patient. This guy feels real respectable like. We need him to stay on. You know what I'm saying? What do you see out there, Lynn? Anything? That looks like some good length. I'm right. out to the left of you a little yep. bit. I think you're safe. I'm safe. I'm not going to lie to you. This fish feels nice. Like, there's... Like, we got a beast on the end like, of the yeah. line? Like, I said like like six times because I'm excited. <gasps> so excited. And it, you know what? It's a little bit, sun's going down so you can't see him as well. It's always the mystery. Right, yeah. That builds the anticipation up. Oh, there's the jump. Is he a good one? 
Toad. I was looking down when he jumped, yeah, of course. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the surface He feels water. good. <laughs> the good dark it's not, mommy yeah, smalley. Exactly. The big bronze back. You got a glimpse of him in the he water? He is just yeah, fighting. Yeah, no. Oh, he's yeah. no, he's not, but he's acting like... He's big. He looks wide. Is he, he a looks, fiver? He looks tall. He looks like he could be five. Yeah. I think so, yeah. This would make oh. Smalley, I think, Smalley... You got double? Look yeah, you do. Did you lose him, Sarah? <laughs> we got all hex breaking loose here. Sarah's got him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nice. That's on Lynn's rod. Yeah, Lynn put his rod down to net your fish. What? Put yeah, put, bring him I in. I had my bail open what on mine. What a blast. Oh my goodness, her. that is a huge fish. Yeah, that's probably a 20 incher right there. Oh my gosh. Oh geez, Lynn. What? I think we might have triples. Are you serious? I, I might, something just hit my rod. Look at this fish. This is what it's all about, folks. <laughs> you guys want to catch smallies, big smallies fish of a lifetime, you got to get this in with crazy. Lynn Niklosh and do it up on the bay. This is amazing. What a fish. I, if you can, you might want to try to go to the Look other side, thing. Sarah. Oh, you're on yours. Yeah, yeah, I'm Sarah's right Sarah is reeling. We got one five pounder in a boat. <laughs> Sarah's reeling in another five pounder. And something hit my line. Do you, is that a big fish? I can't, I haven't seen it yet. I, I haven't been paying attention. Lynn, I'm going to put this in a live well so we can just yeah. get a cool double here. I think this is probably the way we're going to end her. Oh, the sun is setting, yeah. My rod always gets the smaller one. <laughs> is he small? Yeah, he's oh, not. Is he? He's not ginormous. Look at him. He can't even, he's choking on that. But sucker. I saved your sucker. <laughs> you know, the smaller ones are a lot more aggressive. They come up and just waylay. You don't even have to open your bail and give them line or right. anything. Good colors. Yeah, he, that, Whoa, is, that fish is that pretty. That is a wow. really pretty fish. That fish colors. is gorgeous. And look at that. That's amazing. That's a perfect illustration right there. Head first, took her down. Yeah. I'm going to hop he in did. there, grab the other fish out of there. Lynn, hop down here too. What do you think, Sarah? I'd say, I got you this time. I'd say yours is like the size of that eat mine, but <laughs> that is a huge oh, small. That way, huh? I mean, your fish is good for beginner. We got hey. this is the pro. This is the pro am. He's gonna. He's gonna grow. <laughs> Look at that thing, Lynn. Thanks, buddy. Awesome time. You did great. You know the bay better than anybody I've ever met. You put us on fish every time we come. Yes, it's yes. a blast. It's Walleyes, so much fun. Smallies. You do muskies. Do muskies. What else do you do? Um, just walleyes, smallmouth, and muskies. On the bay. On the That's bay. still yeah. a pretty impressive uh, resume. Yeah. There. But we do look, there's times, you know, to do trophies, and there's right. times to do action. Right. You know, this is a trophy smallmouth time. That's this is awesome, That's important man. to point out. We exactly. had a blast. Everybody, thanks for watching the Sportsman's Journal. We'll see you next week. If you're looking to catch giant smallmouth on Green Bay, give Captain Lynn Nicklash a call at 262-370-6771. Thank <laughs> you.